Welcome to a lecture series on linear algebra. In the previous lectures, we have seen several examples of subspaces and in this lecture too, we are going to continue with the same. Let us get into it. Uh, here they have given to consider this MN of C. What do we mean by this MN of C? This is going to, this is going to be the set of all N cross N matrices with complex entries. Okay. And it is considered over the field of complex numbers. So you, you may see if you take any element in this MN of C, you can write what this A to be like what all the entries are going to be complex, right? So your all the entries are complex numbers. If it is a complex numbers, you can write it in the form of some real number plus some imaginary number. You may write in this form. When you segregate these things, you may also write this to be al the matrix alpha ij plus i times of the matrix beta ij, where this matrix and this matrix will be a real matrix, right? So you may have these things. And here they have specified about few more operations. Uh, this a theta, what do we mean by this? Uh, if you are familiar with this operations, it is well and good. If not, let me explain what they are. This means uh, you will have to take a conjugate of the given matrix and then finding the transpose of the given matrix. Or you may do it in other way also. You just find the transpose and then take the conjugate. What do we mean by taking a conjugate of a matrix? Suppose if this is the case, uh, A conjugate is nothing but the conjugate of individual elements in the matrix. Suppose my A is uh, 1 plus 2i, uh, 1 minus i, 2 plus 5i, um, minus 7i. Let this be my A. Okay. What, uh, what do I mean by this A conjugate? It means, uh, what is the conjugate of 1 plus 2i? It is 1 minus 2i. What is the conjugate of 1 minus i? It is 1 plus i. What is the conjugate of 2 plus i? It is 2 minus 5i. And what is the conjugate of minus 7i? It is simply 7i. Right? So, now, what do we mean by this a theta? It is, after taking the conjugate of this given matrix, we will have to take the transpose. Right? Which means 1 minus 2i, 2 minus 5i, 1 plus i, 7i. It is going to be the a theta. Right? Now, uh, this can be extended for any n cross n matrix. Now, I hope you are familiar with these operations. Okay, now let us get into this problem. Uh, now, we have to check whether these subsets of the given vector space forms a subspace or not. For which, what should we do? Okay, now let us start with this. Here, all the matrices are satisfying this condition. Let me take two matrices from W1, which means what am I getting? Uh, A is satisfying this condition, okay, and B is also satisfying this condition, right? Now I will have to prove the linear combination of these things, okay. In the previous lectures, we have chosen the scalars from where we have chosen those scalars from set of real numbers. Here, where should we choose? We have to choose from the set of complex numbers because this is the collection of matrices over the field of complex numbers. So here the alpha, beta are taken from complex, right? So we will have to check whether this is same as that of this or not, okay? And uh, let us do that. What is happening? This is some complex value and this is some complex value. Let me take the conjugate. Okay, conjugate transpose. So, in the previous lecture, I have told you the property of a transpose, right? That is, taking the um, transpose of the sum of true matrices is same as that of taking the transpose of the matrices and then making the sum. That is, A plus B whole transpose is same as that of A transpose plus B transpose. So, using this, what we will have is that alpha times of uh, a whole theta plus beta times of 
be whole beta right here the conjugate is also the same right so what is this this is going to be simply alpha but since this is a complex quantity it is conjugated and this is going to be a theta plus beta bar b theta now you just multiply k on both sides right k k is some complex constant alpha times of a plus beta times of b whole theta is going to be what alpha bar okay k times of alpha bar into a theta plus k times of beta bar into b theta i cannot say this is holding good right because uh, this is these two are scalar so i can multiply them and take this k inside so this becomes what alpha bar into this becomes k times of a theta that is a plus b bar into b so if i get this to be alpha and beta i am getting this as the vector space sorry subspace here i am not getting so therefore it is not a subspace as of now let us hold like this and let us see one more thing after proceeding all those things right now to proceed with two what should we do we can see that uh, k is a given complex constant it can be any co complex constant right let me take k is equal to 1 plus 0 times of i that means i am going to substitute k is equal to 1 what am i going to get using the same arguments i have alpha bar a plus beta bar b therefore it is also not a subspace right not subspace when you give k is equal to minus 1 you will get the third case therefore your third one is not also a subspace Okay, let us come to the fourth one. Here they have given what trace of a is zero, and the first entry has to be zero. Okay, trace. Uh, I have told you in the previous video itself that the trace means sum of diagonal elements in the matrix, right? So trace also satisfies this property. So if you are talking about trace, it is trace a trace of a plus b is trace a plus trace b. Okay, let me uh, consider this and find the trace for this. What am I going to get? Trace of alpha times a plus trace of beta times b. Alpha and beta are constants. Uh, you are multiplying those constants with all the entries of a matrix and then trying to find the sum of diagonal elements. That is same as that of you find the sum of the diagonal elements and multiply a scalar to it. It is going to be same. So it is alpha times of trace A plus beta times of trace B. Okay. If these two traces are zero, because uh, here what I am doing is that I am taking A and B are from W4, which means trace A is going to be zero and trace B is also zero. When I give these two traces are 0, I will get alpha times 0 plus beta times 0 which is 0. Okay, it is satisfying the first condition. Right? When I have the first entry of this matrix A is 0 and the first entry of B matrix is also 0 because these two are taken from W4 therefore A11 is 0, B11 is also 0. Right? I am multiplying some scalar to this. I will get 0. I am multiplying some scalar, scalar to this. Then also I will get 0. And when I add these two quantities, I am going to get 0. Therefore, W4 is a subspace. So among the four things, this is not a subspace, this is not a subspace, this is not a subspace, this is the only subspace. Now, uh, suppose instead of this, let me consider the collection of complex matrices over reals. Okay, the entries of a matrices are complex, but the overfilled is real. In that case, also it forms a vector space, right? Uh, you may try that and see that is that forms a vector space. Now, here the same collection of sets instead of complex constant, we may have real constant now right in that case what is going to happen uh, 
the same argument you may proceed and finally here instead of uh, while you take the conjugate this is where you take this make this operation you will have alpha complement only but your alpha and beta are now now your alpha and beta are taken from the set of reals so your alpha and alpha bar are going to be same therefore you will get what alpha a plus beta b so you get the required condition right therefore this forms a subspace and for the second and third case what are you going to do you are just going to substitute k is equal to 1 and k is equal to minus 1 those two are also real constants in that case also these two will be a subspace right and for the fourth case you have proved for complex for complex it is a subspace real is a part of a complex when you give your uh, imaginary part to be zero you are going to get the real thing right so this also forms a subspace when you consider over reals hope uh, this video might have given you an idea about how matrix spaces work over different fields right uh, if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you for watching